Number 1. Marion Kirch. The pick of Rostock's churches is an archetypal North German brick Gothic church, which hasn't changed much since the 14th century. The cross-shaped basilica is still a weighty bulk on Rostock's skyline, and much of its architecture and decoration is original. Despite the widespread destruction visited on Rostock during bombing raids in 1942, the church was only partially damaged and its fires were swiftly extinguished. Number 2. Petra Kirch. The oldest of Rostock's three churches goes back to 1252 and was rebuilt in the brick Gothic style around the 1350s. Petra Kirch is on the high left bank of the Warnow just before it broadens into the Unterwarnow estuary. The church tower is 117 meters high and for hundreds of years was a handy sea mark for sailors and fishermen. Number 3. Warnmund Beach. On either side of the Warnow estuary, the perennial blue flag winning Warnmund Beach is 15 kilometers long and widens to 100 meters at points. The beach shelves low, so is safe for children, and there are two wide sections monitored by lifeguards in summer, Warnmund Hopstrand and Mark Graffenheide on the other side of the Warnow. Number 4. Alterstrom. In Warnmund's harbor, the Alterstrom is a channel dug as long ago as 1423. For more than five centuries this was the main channel linking Rostock's port with the Baltic, until the Neuerstrom was dredged in 1903. On the west side of the Alterstrom is a promenade edge with charming old fishermen's houses that are now shops and restaurants. Number 5. Warnmund Lighthouse. On the left side of the Warnow estuary, the Warnmund Lighthouse is just under 30 meters high and has been here since 1898. Built with white glazed bricks, the tower is the main landmark in the resort and has wrought iron railings on its platforms. From Easter to October you can go up to survey Warnmund, Rostock, the Baltic, the port entrance and the beach. Number 6. City Wall. Rostock's defensive walls were first raised in the 1100s and were then adapted for gunpowder in the 16th and 17th centuries. Because of this redesign and expansion of the city 19th century, only four of the original 20 medieval gates remain. But there's more than a kilometer of wall intact. Number 7. Kulter Historisches Museum. The Gothic Monastery of the Holy Cross housed Rostock's Cultural History Museum since 1984. As an institution, the museum is far older, dating back to 1859 and is seen as one of the foremost museums in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. There's much to see, but one of the most intriguing exhibitions is the sacred art from Rostock's various religious buildings. Number 8. Shipbuilding and Maritime Museum Rostock. Moored on the Unterwarnow on halfway between Rostock and Warnmund is the Dresden, a TYP-4, 10,000-ton freighter. This monster was launched in the city in 1958 and since 1970 has contained a museum about shipbuilding and seafaring. Rostock has a rich shipbuilding tradition going back to its Slavic origins, you'll retrace the industry through different phases of the city's past. Number 9. Neuer Market. After Rostock gained city rights in 1218 the city expanded quickly. In 1265 when three once separate suburbs became interlinked, this square became the new center of the city. During the Renaissance handsome gabled merchants' houses sprouted on the borders of the square. The Neuer market didn't escape the bombing in 1942, but most of the east side of the square is original. Number 10. Rothaus. To look at Rostock's arcaded town hall on Neuer Market you wouldn't know that the building is as old as the square itself, going all the way back to the 13th century. This means it could be the oldest town hall in Germany. But in the 18th century the facade was damaged in a storm and was replaced with a new Baroque design, even if the interior is much older. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.